So today I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to make an image command on discord.js uh, So I'm just gonna assume that uh, you know how to set up a, a discord bot and know the uh, basics of uh, discord.js like how to log in for example uh, so you're obviously gonna need uh, the discord here and the client to log in and uh, You're also gonna need uh, two extra libraries. So these are Cheerio and request um, So Cheerio is uh, basically jQuery and we're gonna use it for uh, getting some DOM nodes from uh, a response and then we're gonna use request to make a request to a uh, image search engine so we can extract the links uh, so we're gonna start off with a simple command manager uh, as I like to call it so it's nothing special it's just uh, you know a simple way to manage your commands and we're gonna split uh, the message into parts and uh, then we're gonna check if uh, it matches our command which in this case case is uh, explanation mark image and if it matches it's gonna execute the image command which we have here um, so let's begin with that uh, so the first thing thing we're gonna need is uh, to uh, get the search query for our command so uh, what happens here is, is uh, we take parts which we pass through here and defined here and uh, we're gonna use these parts to um, create the search uh, query so we we don't want the this part uh, since it's not going to be a part of uh, our search for images so we're just gonna have to slice that off and we're using this slice function and then joining them together so it makes uh, a nice string for us and uh, then we're gonna use uh, this bit here so we're gonna go through this bit by bit uh, so the first part is options these are just the options for our request so this is the domain our uh, image uh, search engine we're using is called dogpile you can google it it's uh, uh, it's okay and it works for us and then we're just gonna add the search which we defined here so this could be anything like Spongebob yeah it could be anything so we're gonna create the URL here and uh, we're just gonna pass a few headers and these are actually essential because um, um, if we don't have them the website will just reject our request so the next part is to actually launch the request so we're using the request library which we uh, required here and uh, this is just gonna make a request to this domain and uh, get the results so obviously if we have an error you're gonna wanna handle this error I'm not gonna do anything for now and now uh, we come to the tricky part so we've got um, Cheerio and this is basically uh, loads the response body uh, into Cheerio which is a, a library based on jQuery so response body is just a HTML document of a website where all the URLs and the nice links are so we're gonna want to fetch the, the URLs from uh, the HTML document uh, so what we're gonna do is load it here and then pass this CSS selector uh, into this variable so now we have all the DOM nodes um, with uh, the image links uh, inside this um, variable so now uh, we're gonna extract the image URLs from uh, these DOM nodes so we're gonna use this function uh, it's pretty complicated I'm not really gonna explain how it works if you want to learn more about it you might want to look into map and uh, it's uh, an array pr prototype but we're gonna use um, this jQuery function it's called attribute 
So we're just gonna grab the attributes of the DOM node so we can get the links. So this is gonna put all the link URLs inside this variable. So we have a like a nice array of them. Uh, so we can actually test this. And if we do console.log URLs, we can see what we get. So we're just going to start the bot and uh, then I'm going to use, so our command was uh, exclamation point image. So we're just going to search for uh, cat. So here we can see in the console that uh, a bunch of uh, URLs popped up and you can, you can use all of these URLs. In our case, we're just going to use the first one. So this one you see here, it's going to match the displayed one here. So um, in case like there's a really weird search query, um, it's gonna it's gonna catch here and uh, you're gonna wanna handle those uh, results. But if it go through and uh, uh, we get some nice results, we just uh, take the first URL inside this, uh, this variable, which we defined here. So this variable is just all of these links so you can use multiple if you want to, you can just do this, I guess. I'm just going to use the first link because I find that the best. So we're just going to use this simple discord.js method, uh, message.channel.send. Uh, message and by way, we pass through this message function um, variable. We pass it through here and originally from here where we had our message event handler. So we're just going to send the URL of uh, the first image we get. So it's pretty simple. It's work it works really well and uh, can obviously search for anything. So if you want to search for a keyboard, I have a very loud keyboard. You can just search for that. Okay, sorry about that. My recording program crashed, but as you can see, uh, we got a link of uh, apparently a, a loud keyboard. So we can try it again. And if we want to get like uh, a bird, you can just search for bird. And this also works for specific things. Um, for example, um, yellow bird it should come up with a yellow bird. Yes. Uh, so this works pretty well. Like obviously you can have a, a nice embed if you want to. I'm just using like a simple, uh, simple link. But obviously, if you want to clean it up, you can use uh, a rich embed. Uh, but I, um, I think that's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you liked it, obviously leave a like. Uh, if you have any thoughts, just uh, put it in the comments below. And uh, if you want to get some more help or just want to chat, you can join my Discord server. Link in the description. Anyway, see ya.